Topic 3, Stock Options, Rights, and Warrants. Stock options are a type of financial instrument that give the holder a right, but not an obligation, to buy shares at a fixed price at some future point in time. When a holder exercises their option, they pay cash and receive the shares. This is known as exercising the option, and the price paid is the exercise price. If the share price in the open market is greater than the exercise price on the option, it is referred to as being in the money. If the share price is below the exercise price, it is out of the money. Recording stock option issuance. When a company issues stock options, there are four important dates. The announcement date, which is when the options are announced, and only a memo entry is made to the ledger. The issuance date, when the options are issued, an entry is made for the cash proceeds and or expense included from that issuance. Exer exercise date, when options are exercised, an entry is made for the proceeds from the issuing shares and the expiration date. If the options expire, an entry is made to record the options outstanding that have lapsed. Let's look at a simple example. JBC Corp issues 10,000 stock options with an exercise price of $15 per share. The current price of the stock option in the open market is $15. The options expire in three years. JBC Corp has sold the options for $8,000. Upon announcement, the entry should be as follows. A memo entry. 10,000 stock options approved for potential purchase of 10,000 shares at $15 in three years time. At issuance date, the following entry should be made. Debit cash, credit contributed capital, stock options outstanding for the $8,000. At the exercise date, assuming the price per share in the open market is now $20 there would be a debit for $150,000, which represents the option price of $15 times the 10,000 stock options, a debit for contributed capital stock options to remove the amount that was credited, the amount that was set up at time of issuance, and a credit for common shares in the amount of 158,000. That's the combination for cash proceeds received, as well as reversing out the contributed capital at the time of issuance. Now, if instead of the stock price going up to $20 and the being exercised, if instead the options had lapsed upon, um, at the expiration date, the journal entry would be, to debit the contributed capital for the stock options for 8,000 and replace it in the same bucket and the same contributed capital um, with a contributed capital lapse of options. So it's a presentation entry to communicate the fact that these, um, these options are no longer exercisable and, but the money is still in the company. So the amount of the $8,000 still paid for these stock options hasn't gone anywhere. So we leave it there. Some important things to consider with stock options. When making entries related to the issuance of stock options, the value of the options themselves is typically set by an option valuation model. The actual model and its use is outside the scope of this course. For awareness purposes, one model available to performance valuation is the Black-Scholes option pricing model. The Another thing to keep in mind is that the current market value of the shares on the exercise date is irrelevant when making journal entries related to stock options. And that is because the, um, that is because kind of the, the trigger point, the value of these stock options is set upon exercise date. 
the current market value of the shares on the exercise date is irrelevant when making the journal entries. And that is because the exercise price is already set and that is when those stock options were announced and subsequently issued. So instead, the exercise value is used to determine the amount of cash raised and the balance of the common shares account. Rights and warrants. Rights offerings are used to ensure that when a corporation issues new shares, the shares of existing shareholders are not diluted. This right gives shareholders the opportunity to purchase enough new shares to, to maintain their proportionate ownership. When rights are issued, a memo entry is made by the company, but no entry is recorded until the rights are exercised. Warrants are very similar to options in that they allow the holder to purchase a share for a fixed price for some fixed period of time. When warrants are issued, they are typically attached to another security, for example, a bond being issued. At issuance, a portion of the value of the instrument issued is assigned to the warrants, equity. When exercised, this amount is reallocated to the common share account. Let's look at a question. JVC Corp issues 2,000 stock options with an exercise price of $7 per share. The current price of the stock option in the open market is $7. The options expire in six years. JVC Corp has sold the options for $1 each. What amount will be recorded to the outstanding stock options contributed capital account at the time of issuance? Is it A, 7,000, B, 14,000, C, 16,000, D, 2,000. The correct answer is D, 2,000. The amount recorded to the contributed capital account is the value of the options, that is, what they sold for, and each of the options were sold for $1 each. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.